Want an interdimensional storage system? Well, Minecraft has that. Welcome to another easy Minecraft tutorial. My name is JD, and today I'm going to show you how to craft and use an ender chest. It's very straightforward. First of all, we need to have ender pearls and blaze rods. Now, to get an ender pearl, you need to get that from an enderman and blaze rods you need to get from blazes. So you can find endermen pretty much anywhere, but uh, specifically in the end and in warped uh, forest in the nether. And of course, blazes are found in fortresses in the nether. So first of all, we need to use, uh, first we need to use one of these. Make some blaze powder, then an ender pearl and a blaze powder to make an eye of ender. Put that in the middle and we are going to circle this with obsidian. And there's our ender chest. Ender chest can be used in a similar way as regular chests. You can place it down. It has a slot for 27 items. Now let's just put these in here. Now uh, to pick this up, you need to use a silk touch pickaxe. And it takes a little while. There we go. Now this is completely portable, luckily. So it doesn't matter how many ender chests you have. You can just place it down, you can open it up, and there it is again. Now, <laughs> let's run away. Uh, put this down. Oh, look at that. It's the same thing. Two different ender chests have the same inventory. That's right, this is an interdimensional chest. No matter where you are, if you take one of these with you, you will always have access to the same inventory. You can be in the end, you can be in the nether, you can be in the overworld, or you can be in a completely different village way, way, way far away, 10,000 blocks away. You still have access to this. Now, ender chests do not interact with anything. They don't interact with hoppers, they don't interact with anything like that. However, you can still open them in the nether and a piglin will attack you. Yes, <laughs> uh, so be careful with that. Also, they cannot be pushed by pistons, unlike some other things. Uh, so it's, it's very much immovable. The only thing you can do is just break it with your silk touch pickaxe. In a multiplayer world, like on a realm or a server, each player has a different inventory in the same ender chest. So it doesn't matter where it is, doesn't matter who put it down, you'll find your own inventory inside. Ender chests are simple and straightforward. There's not much to them other than what I've just mentioned. As I said, they don't interact with anything. No redstone, nothing like that. They are just chests, which can be moved with only a silk touch pickaxe and you can access from pretty much anywhere you can carry it with you as well kind of like shulker boxes in that way so let me know if you use ender chests in the comment section below if you like the video then please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more easy minecraft tutorials then please consider subscribing we'll see you next time bye bye